Right, here's a look at our basic uh, shed. Uh, so, five spans long, it's uh, 24 uh, feet deep, so eight, and then uh, two more eights. Uh, 14 foot 6 slash uh, here on the front of it in about a foot and a half here out 8 feet uh, from this pillar so the cubicle bed will just uh, reach it here um, then uh, precast panels around the back obviously you're going to sheet or board or something up the back but here uh, the front facing down facing across to the existing sheds and then the, the concrete uh, feet space then here in front of it uh, agitation mindset, both ends. Um, then as a cubicle layout, as cubicle layout, you'd end up with something like this. So you'd end up with uh, 20 cubicles along the back wall here. So five bays of four. Um, and then you lift in another uh, eight here. So two, two, cube, two spans. And four on each side, that's giving you a total of 28 cubicles. Uh, this is still eight feet wide, these beds are eight feet as well, so you might probably get away with seven say, or something like that. Um, the posts that are standing here are to change it over for, for the bulls. So I'll change it over for the bulls, um, turn back on the posts again for a minute. Um, so to change over for the bulls, I suppose there's two options. Ideally, you could take down the cubicles uh, relatively easy. Um, but with the ideal situation, um, I leave all this area free. And I suppose you, but the, the advantage, an advantage of that is that you might be able to get bulls out into this as well, that you might be able to have swinging gates on this that are open out the way. And so you could take a pen of bulls out into this uh, area here and down. <clears throat> you may be able to get them out of each one more confined uh, down along, uh, but that depends on how easy it is to get in and out the cubicles. Now, maybe some of the easy fix of those. That's the the easy fix, easy fix post, which off to the left there. Um, something like that. Now, it's just, that could be dangerous enough. Um, if it was left there, if it was a line of those. Um, Maybe you could get some way of capping them or something like that, but uh, this is the way they're held together. And to get them off the posts is only a screw here, here on top and bottom. Um, but to take them apart altogether could be a bit more work. Uh, so you want to talk to them and see you know, how easy it would be to to take them down um, or just to pull them off or even maybe hang them out of the roof or something, you know, uh, somewhere. I suppose. What I've shown here is some maybe even just that you could you put a steel one, you know, it was mounted onto the wall of the back, uh, that they could be hinged up out of the way. Um, but I suppose that only allow you in here just for feeding, uh, which is for walking up along with a bags of meal or whatever. And the cubicle bed could stay in place if that was the situation. So you'd only be dropping in timbers here between the posts and then feeding the meal up on the cubicle bed. Um, if you did. Uh, if you did decide to add more cubicles afterwards, uh, another 24 feet out here would give you a cubicle bed here, uh, walkway and cubicle bed here. So you'd have one single row here and a double row here. Uh, in five spans, that would give you 50 cubicles roughly. Um, so it just give you some idea. So the bulls are looking at something like that, feeding all along the front, obviously, meal feeding along the back. Um, cubicles, then you're looking for 20, 28 cubicles, uh, something like that. So, I'll just give uh, some idea 15, 15 degree pitch, and height to here is three and a half meters. Okay, 